open till it shatters through the ocean. I wanna make shock waves. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and other farm animals, this is Rennie, and welcome to episode 17 of King Mammoth the series. Now, I have been working like a busy bee because I have been trying to get a bunch of stuff done related to this electrolytic separator, and it looks like it's starting to work. Now, I want to build a gas-burning generator to use this hydrogen, so that way we're not eating power like there's a hole in the tank with this electrolytic separator. By the way, I think I can take down this heat generator now because we don't have a particular use for it at the moment, though I will be doing something with it a little later. Um, as you can see, we've moved into winter in the minecraft -iverse, but we are currently working on enriching iron that's moving fairly quickly but we need my phone to stop ver verping I thought I shut that off and we need two steel casings and another oh good heavens so I'm gonna have to enrich a lot more alloy Erg. okay I also need osmium gold and I already have all of that what am I doing osmium gold and iron dust or an electrolytic core. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I just lost the electrolytic core. Where the heck did it go? Oh, there it is. Two osmium, one iron, and one gold. Okay. Two osmium. Yeah, because this thing, if I don't have a gas burning generator on it, will just burn power. Whereas we'll actually get most of the power back from the hydrogen, if that works. Okay, two osmium, one gold, and when we get there, one iron. Okay, so later on I'm going to have to enrich more of the... Uh, of the iron into steel. I really want this to hurry up with the enrichment so I can enrich this alloy and keep working on the gas burning generator. Grr. Okay, um, hmm. Okay. There's the steel. Now let's throw that in the energized smelter. Throw that and that in there. Now, uh, we need more sand, so I'm gonna grab one gravel and do this cool thing where I turn gravel into sand and then into glass, so. Um, gravel iron dust, please. And there's the five enriched alloy that we need. Go ahead and throw this together really quick. Electrolytic core. Now what else do we need for the gas burning generator? Or osmium, two enriched alloy. Okay, and of course the steel casings. Well, there's the two enriched alloy, and one more ingot, there's the steel. Now we go to the crusher, grab the glass, because we need eight glass to make two steel casings. Right, and there's the glass, now we very quickly come over to our crafting station. By the magic of click and drag, two steel casings. Now let's throw the rest of this together. Enriched alloy, redstone around. No, it's not redstone, what is it? Osmium, that's right. Gas burning generator. And if I put that there. Oh uh, no, I have to put it the other way around. That's not good. 
least it'll preserve the energy. What I'm going to do is that to give me a backstop. And then... There we go. Now it's linked. Alrighty. And it's fully charged. Now can I turn this on without completely exploding the network? It looks like it. So now that's working. I think we can actually start putting it to use, Gasp. Once we build up enough of it. Um, hmm. Of course it's pressurizing this pipe. All right, now the next thing I want to do before we get too far into that is an energy cube, which requires Four enriched alloy. Fortunately, I have five. Because I need two times two is four. In fact, let's go ahead and make those energy tablets. One, two, one, two. Click and drag. Click and drag. One and two. And we'll clear the grid. A steel casing, so I need four more steel. Fortunately, four steel does not take long to make. Definitely need speed soonish. Now this will automatically idle if it reaches all the oxygen it needs, because all this is doing is making oxygen for the purification chamber. So that way it'll stop eating power, and the gas burning generator will actually be able to drive the system with the hydrogen that's built up. It's pretty nifty, isn't it? Okay, we're just finishing up that last bit of enriched iron. And all this pipe, I will add, has made it a fun time to get to my bed. Eventually, I'm going to lay some slabs over this. Eventually, though, we're going to probably use this sandstone to build a stargate. I'm going to belay the floor in something else. Maybe stone bricks. I haven't decided yet. Okay, that's very quickly getting done. We need more uh, glass, though, too, so... Because, of course, we have to make a casing. And yes, I know I have a bunch of glass panes, but those actually do not work. Alright, and it's finished building up the supply. This is starting to look pretty nifty. Okay, that should be just about done with the steel by the time the crusher finishes with the sand. That's a yep. And now we throw the sand in there so we can hurry up and get glass. We have plenty of water from the pump. Okay, halfway there. And then we assemble the energy cube. And that will allow us to build up power. Hopefully. It'll be nighttime, so we won't be able to build up much, but. Okay, four. Now, assembling the steel casing. Yep. Alrighty, steel around. One steel casing. Now, for the rest of the energy cube, it is. One, two iron ingots. One, 
two energy tablets and redstone around basic energy cube it's gonna very quickly burn its supply of hydrogen but it does give us quite a significant amount of basically just building up off the solar panels reserves so we're going to sleep Generators just feed the generation loop and then drop a connection there. But I need a couple more universal cable, and I've depleted my supply of steel. the way I have to fix the darn energy network. So I'm using my last two iron and my last two coal to set up enough energy cable here. This is amusing. Or my last four coal. Hey, once this is set up, we'll have a sustainable energy network. Come on, steel dust. Come on, steel dust. There's the two steel dust. Let's go ahead and use the furnace over here. Whilst I reconfigure the connections again. Disconnect the network there. Furnace is done. Let's go ahead and make the uh, universal cable. complete the connection. Hey presto! Now for the big test. I'm going to go ahead and just run four through. And of course we have to configure the connection to pull.
this a step here? I think we missed a step here. What's the story? We're processing. Oh, they have to be crushed. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's just a slight reconfiguring. That heating coil will have to be moved. Over there, say. We'll go ahead and move the chest. Move the logistical transporter. Go ahead and Grab the purification chamber, the crusher. And one more pressurized. Pressure goes there. Oh, this is a problem. Um, hmm. Okay, what we're gonna do here is well, pretty quick, we're gonna end the episode because I am running long again. We're gonna throw a universal cable down there, we're gonna move that guy. Move this guy, because he's empty right now. Get rid of th that one. And that one. Just all two new ones. Um, we're going to put the gas burning generator right here. Fix the link. Uh, no, that's dirt. All right, and of course I need to get rid of the one underneath too. No, wait, no, I don't, because it doesn't connect down there. All right. Well, I've got everything built back up, but I guess the big test I'll have to wait for the next episode. In the meantime, thanks so much for tuning in, and stay tuned for the outro. Hey everyone, Arinia here. Thanks so much for watching this latest video out of my channel, and thanks so much to these patrons who, among others, are helping make this content possible by donating at least $10 on my Patreon page. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment. Tell us what we need to do better. If you liked it, still leave a comment. I'm always open to input. If you like the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join us on the Discord community, link in the description. If you want to support the channel, and I really hope you do, please, down in the description is a link to the Buy Me A Coffee page, which you can donate to for a one-time donation, or the Patreon page, which you can head on to to donate monthly and get perks. In the meantime, this is Irinia saying once again, thanks for watching, 